Hey everybody, and welcome to Legends of the Wind. I'm Jury Shank, and this is my co-host, <laughs> Kylie. How you doing, Kylie? All right. Awesome. So here at Legends of the Wind, we like to tell stories. We want to discover our identity and destiny through storytelling. And these stories are really special. They come from an imaginary place like a library in heaven where we find out more secrets about who we are and what we're doing with our future. So welcome to the show. Uh, I'd like to welcome Joe, Moon, and Micah on uh, chat. Thank you so much. It's good to see you guys. You want to say hi to Micah? Hi. <laughs> cool. So thanks for joining us today. You know, Legends of Wind's a very special thing. It's about identifying the secrets of story for, that helps you for your life. So uh, welcome. Thank you so much. Now, we also want to remind everybody, we still have a promotion going on. And we have five free stories available for our for you to be on the show. Uh, if you go to legendsofthewind.com and go to the store at the top, you can sign up for a story. You can get your own story from me. We just require and we ask that you uh, be on the show so that you can get it yourself for the first time. I won't research you. I won't interview you. If you've had a story before, you're more than welcome to do it again. We're just looking for more people to be engaging with the show. Any way you can go louder? Well, I don't know. So um, thank you very much for that comment. We're working on the audio. Last week was it had some difficulties, so we're trying to get the audio more refined. Is that better? Um, now, about this promotion. So we have five free slots available. And uh, one thing is that we want to talk about the value of them. Uh, when I was doing this originally in Los Angeles, uh, I would get these downloads for people for their birthdays. There were a couple of friends of ours that we did this for. One was a woman named Patrice and another one named Phoebe. And um, I delivered to them their story. And uh, it was a powerful time. These, uh, these different friends of ours had uh, an encounter and they helped them identify who they are and what their future was and about what their character and their journey is going to be. And they have been forever changed by these stories. And so these stories will never reveal anything shameful or condemning or anything like that. They're meant to encourage, to strengthen, to edify, to empower. So just know that we're not here to make any uh, embarrassment of any kind. We're here to inspire you. So if you are interested in getting your own story, go to legendsofthewind.com, go to the store, and at the top, sign up for a free story. I got one for Dad's birthday. It's surprising. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you've already purchased our book, this is it right here, Legends of the Wind, Volume 1. I purchased it. <laughs> it's it's 20 stories of this uh, of the same approach that I take on here on the show. And mine's in it. Yes, it is. And uh, if you've purchased it, would you mind going to Amazon and please leave a review for us? Uh, we would really uh, benefit from that and like to hear from you and hear what you uh, think about the book. Now, also, um, on, on the uh, illustration, of my wife Alicia did this. This is from the story The Fire Bear. And uh, this is a beautiful cover and a beautiful illustration and design. And so you can also have the opportunity to get your own illustration to go along with your story too. So check out the store there. So welcome to the show. Now, uh, introduce Kylie. <laughs> so I for the book cover when mom was doing it, she didn't notice that was a, there was a mistake part and then I caught it. Oh, uh, okay, cool. By the way, the camera's over there. So. Last week, we talked about your story, right? Mm -hmm. Halfway there? What did you think of it, last week's show? It was a nice story, really nice, and it, and it had a happy ending, too. Mm-hmm. And, and I like it, especially you made it, my very own dad. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay, now, Halfway There was a special story for the both of us because I got the download on my, for my birthday, and I gave it to her on my birthday as my gift back to her. Now, today, uh, we're going to talk about another story that uh, was written for some three young girls, so three children back in uh, Los Angeles when I was first starting Legends of the Wind. And uh, today... Uh, we're going to see about what it is, about its magical story. Now, it has a special question that asks, 
what kind of power can you have with your words? And uh, so think about that, and let's go ahead and jump into the story. Is that okay? Yeah, okay. of course that's okay. Cool. Three young girls. It was a glorious and sunny day in a field of wildflowers in the Rocky Mountain countryside. Three beautiful young girls, three princesses in fact, ran through the tall grass as they held their hands out to feel the flowers as they flew by. They picked up the wonderful, colorful wild wildflowers, made crowns for their hair, and they sniffed the sweet aroma of the daisies, lupins, and penstemons. The clouds were puffs of pillow in the air as the sun glowed in the deep blue sky. Looking up, Hannah saw something flying with great speed and elegance. Look, she cried. Katie and Maddie turned their heads up toward the sky. This, was some, this something was gaining great speed. It looked like a flame of lightning shining with all the colors of the rainbow coming right at them. Flowing fabric and streams whisked in the wind like wings coming from its back. It shone as if it were from the sun and stopped about 30 feet in the air above them and stood before them. The parents concerned Maddie as she was afraid. This being was beautiful and looked down upon them. Katie stood up and stepped forward. Who are you? What do you want? I am the Lady of the Wind. Her voice sounded like many rushing waters as her words rippled through the three princesses' hearts. Her sound penetrated their soul. It was frightening, but comforting. The voice of the king has called me to you. Come up here. Maddie, Katie, and Hannah felt light as they floated up to the Lady of the Wind. As they drew closer, they could see more of her hair and clothing. Silver threads and jewels adorned the border of her white cloak in a great pattern. Flowing strips of white cloth made even made beautiful patterns with swirls and waves on them. It looked as even if the wind attached itself to her body. Another thing they noticed was that she smelled so fresh and clean, beautiful like the flowers in the field they were just in. Maddie, Katie, and Hannah's eyes grew large as the Lady of the Wind brought them to her. Do not be afraid, my children. I have come at the beckoning of the voice of the king. He has asked me to show you some things that only you shall see. He needs you and desires you to come with me. Will you do just that? Will you come? Will you let me show you great things? Maddie, Katie, and Hannah looked at each other in awe. They thought about this request. As they looked at each other, they just knew everything would be fine. Katie answered, Take us wherever you like. We want to see this. Snap! The wind blew and all flew at an incredible speed over the valleys and the mountains of the land they lived in. The wind was cool and colorful as streams blew past the Lady of the Wind. Colors like the rainbow flew past them, trailing behind them off in the distance. Somehow all three young princesses held close to the Lady of the Wind. She took them higher and higher, the air becoming thinner and cold. They couldn't, they couldn't almost breathe. Maddie choked and gasped for air. The Lady of the Wind stopped flying and they floated high above the land, five miles or more. The Lady of the Wind spoke, Take the flowers in your hair and breathe into them. They will provide all the oxygen you need. Rest, for an I'll show you something grand. The three beautiful young princesses grabbed the flowers from their hair and took a deep breath. They felt better and, were no, and no longer felt scared. Hannah grew some courage and asked, Why are we here? What is going on? The Lady of the Wind pointed to the earth below. This is your land. This is your country. Do you see all the clouds and the storms of the air below? Some are here and some are there. But there are some areas with no storm, storms and the sun shines, correct? Maddie answered, Of course, the rain comes and the rain goes, but how I love a sunny day. Excellent, Princess Maddie. And so, too, do the storms of the Spirit come and go. The enemy comes in like a storm and wishes to tear you apart in your cities and in your homes. Watch. Like an invisible cloth at the command of the Lady of the Wind, a layer of air tore away from the clouds below them. And now they saw the spiritual weather. It was like a map. Areas of green, yellow, and red shone above the cities as it tried to tear the people apart. 
Flashes of lightning blasted below. They heard claps of thunder and pops and crackles, as if there was a battle raging below them. Other beings similar to the lady in the wind flew in and out, up and down, chasing globs of dark, evil smoke. Cries of terror came up out of these beasts, which were the enemy. Katie cried, What is that? Why are they fighting? That is the enemy, Princess Katie. A battle is at hand, and the king needs the three of you. Some of us fight in war, but we need your words. Your words must speak out and breathe life into us. Although we are great and mighty, full of splendor and power, your words give us what we need to speak to the enemy and destroy their plans. I am giving you this map, said she said, and the lady of the wind snapped her fingers. In an instant, the huge map of the green blobs of spiritual storms folded up and became small, flying into the hand of the Lady of the Wind. It became like a small envelope. The Lady of the Wind handed it to Maddie. My child, take this map. Open it when you need to see where the storms are and where the storms plan to go. And then speak what the voice of the king says to you, and you will give life to us as we fight the battles for you. Maddie took the envelope which looked white and ordinary, but she knew inside was a great strategy. She felt privileged that the Lady of the Wind gave this to her. I will wait and listen for his voice, Maddie said. But how will I know when he speaks? His voice is deep inside your heart. He knows your fears and he knows your needs. His voice is familiar and close, like a true father of the heart. Listen to him and do what he says, and you will have great success. Now come, there's more. Whoosh! In another flash, they left the great space in the sky and found that they were riding on horses running in a great field. Hannah held on tight to her horse, a great white steed as they raced toward the horizon. Gold and silver flowers adorned her bridle. Katie pulled ahead on her own horse, a beautiful and tall mare with brown and white spots. Diamonds and rubies adorned her bridle. Maddie pulled alongside with her horse, a powerful black stallion. Maddie's bridle was white and emeralds adorned it as she held on tight. The Lady of the Wind flew above them and commanded the princesses to steer to the right and to the left. Back and forth they raced as they reached the edge of the Grand Canyon. And soon as they came to the edge, they stopped and looked out over the view. Before them was the canyon layered with red and orange rock as the sun set. Far below them was the Colorado River, flowing with dark emerald green waters. The Lady of the Wind hovered before them. Inside your hands are the bridles of the great steeds you sit upon. Let the voice of the king steer you and guide you as you ride across the land. These steeds will go wherever you want, over any mountain and through any valley. Listen to the voice, and you will find the way. It amazed Maddie, Katie, and Hannah. Hannah, Their steeds moved to the left and right at their command. Inside their hearts, they knew they could ride them with confidence, and that they could hear the voice of the king wherever they needed. Then the Lady of the Wind flew in front of each of them and handed them a quill, a beautiful feathered pen. Hannah's was white, Katie's was blue and Maddie's was red. These are your quills, the pens. These are your quills, the pens of the voice of the king. Soon days will come when you will dream his dreams and you will hear his voice. And when he speaks, write what he says, and you will know the mysteries of the spirit. If he gives you a dream, be sure to record it with your quill so it will not escape you. Take care of these, for the words and images you receive will be precious and valuable. You will see things and know things, and just like the bridles of the great steeds you ride, they are important, so treat them with utmost care. And be careful about those whom you share what his voice speaks. He will tell you whom to talk to and when not to, what to say and what not to say. Guard your, these words in your heart and treasure them. Be careful with whom you share, because they could steal them away. Rest in this, and you, will see, and you will see how to speak. Don't be afraid when he says it is good to be speaking. You can do this, I am sure. 
The three beautiful princesses, Maddie, Katie, and Hannah, took the quills in their hands. As soon as they touched the quills to the paper, they heard the sounds of running water in their hearts. It sounded like streams in the mountains or waves crashing on the ocean's beaches. Inside their hearts were a wind and a breath, still but always moving and ever guiding. Suddenly he spoke. Follow me, and I will guide you along the path. I will take care of you and make you safe. Now go. Take your hearts to the horizon and be with me. The three, the three beautiful princesses kicked at their steeds, and the mighty horses galloped off the edge of the Grand Canyon, only to fly into the air higher and higher. The sun sank below the horizon, <clears throat> and it was glowing deep orange and red colors. The three beautiful princesses rode hard into the starry night and went wherever the voice of the king guided them. Wow, that's a, that's a real nice story. And Sephia, thank you. So, what do you think it's about? Well, I think it's about the princesses learning that they can do more than they, they already pretty much uh, That they knew before? Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Now, we had our question, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and by the way, thank you very much, Mr. Pat Cornwell, for saying hi. I look forward to meeting the officer. <laughs> So going back to the story, so um, the question was, what kind of power do you have with your words? What do you think about that related to the story? Well, the Lady of Wolverine said your power, it, basically your power is strong of mm -hmm. your words, even though we are real. I think a Lady of the Wind is a, an angel. An angel. Okay, that's a good idea. And then, so why does the angel or the lady of the wind need us to speak? Well, it's kind of to put it this way, we kind of like a vote. A vote, okay. Yeah, there has to be more people on one side mm. if it's gonna win. Okay. So hmm. they don't need at least almost everybody to, to be on the same side. Uh, on the good side. Mm, that's a very interesting ob observation. Oh, hello, Christina Lee. Good to see you. Thanks for chiming in. Awesome. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope uh, we got six people. That's so cool. Thanks, guys. And um, so what do you think about the storm that, that the Lady of the Wind showed them? We saw the red and the green and the yellow and the cities underneath and the fire and the, uh, the fighting going on. What do you think that is? Well, then I think the storms the mm -hmm. bad part and the sunny weather mm -hmm. it's like the storms try to wipe away the good mm -hmm. but ends up the storm always stops and then it's always sunny so basically the sunny just destroys the the storm just like god destroys the enemy yeah and so we use our words to help mm -hmm. out right that's very good cool so um let me think so what do you think about the horses? The horses. And the bridles. Do you know what a bridle is? Remember that? You, mm -hmm. you hold on to it for the horse? Well, I was thinking to ask you what are they? What are they? Mm. Well, our words are able to steer things, right? Mm -hmm. So we can, let's say we're having a bad day, right? We're in a funk, we're angry. We can speak words that are positive and helpful or loving to ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so we can basically change our emotions and our mood, right? Mm -hmm. And other people can do that to you, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so let's say you're in a bad mood, right? <laughs> so you would want me to say good words to you, right? Mm -hmm. But that's at the same time, people can also say bad words to you. That's right. What happens when that goes on? When someone says something bad? Well, like if somebody is sad and somebody says, "Oh, it's okay, it's okay," that person, that sad person, will go happy. Mm -hmm. But if the there's a sad person, and then uh, like a like a mean person mm -hmm. says. Like, why did you do that? Mm -hmm. And then the sad person will get kind of angry or really hurt. Well, that's right. You know, that's just um, really tough on people, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All right. Yeti is listening. Good to hear from you, too. Thank you for chiming in. So um, 
So it's important to be careful with our words, right? Mm -hmm. So with the the bridle on the horses, mm -hmm. it's like our lives are like the horse. Mm -hmm. We can steer to the left or right. Mm -hmm. Now, what about those quills and about hearing a voice in your heart? What do you think about that? Well, I was wondering why the co also why the color is red, white, red, white, blue. and blue. Mm -hmm. Well, I think that uh, well, first of all, when the Lady of the Wind showed them what country that they belong to, and there's the Grand Canyon. What country is that? The Grand Canyon. It's the United States of America, right? Oh yeah, and those are the colors. Yeah. So what's on the flag? What colors? Red, white, and blue, right? Yeah. yeah. So we have the power with our words to help even our country. We can help someone like you or our family. And uh, I think that's really important that we help the country, right? We help America and we use our words, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens um, if someone tells you you can't speak, that you're, they're going to try to shut your words down? What, what do you think about that? Well, it depends on who the person is. Mm -hmm. If it's like a kid and a bully, mm -hmm. bully says that. Same time, it's kind of equally because the bully b might be trying to betray you to trick you since it's a bully mm -hmm. to you. Okay. Or it might just be trying to warn you for some weird, awkward reason. Right. So, so words can harm, right? Mm -hmm. Now, in America, we're supposed to have the freedom of speech. Mm -hmm. And so some people don't want that. Mm -hmm. They want us to be shut up. So we don't want that to happen. We want to have the freedom to encourage. We want to have the freedom to speak and steer our lives together. So um, that's very important that we have that freedom. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the quills? Not just the colors, but it talked about hearing the voice inside your heart. What do you think about that? Well, I'm not quite sure about that part. That's, that's fine. Part. That's fine. So it, the, the lady that went and talked about how um, you have a dream, right? And you need to write it down. Mm -hmm. So you can you can hear things in your heart. You can have a dream. Mm -hmm. So it's super important to write it down, right? Why? Well, because a dream might mean something for you. Okay. To you, like you explained, uh, a moving a car moving dream, pretty much. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like you're going to somewhere else. Okay. Like if you lose your job in a dream, something might, something bad might happen. Mm. But that usually, that doesn't. You if it comes from that comes from God, it's a warning. Mm. If it doesn't, okay. it's a criticize. Right. Yeah, that's good. And you know it's interesting because like you need to write it down so you can remember it later on, later, right? Mm -hmm. um, what else do you want to talk about in this story? Anything? Well, so if you make us if you make a mistake of the wrong turn, you mm -hmm. might end up so, make yourself end up in a maze. And if you don't solve that maze, a maze, okay, you just get lost. But mazes are supposed to be solved. Mm -hmm. When you look from above, mm -hmm. it's easier. But mm -hmm. when you're actually in it, it's way harder. Wow, well, that's good. Especially if it's spiritual. Right, and like that map the lady went gave. Mm -hmm. Remember, they're up high, mm -hmm. looking down. Mm -hmm. It's like being able to see. Because remember, in that envelope, we held the map, and it provided a strategy, right? Mm -hmm. So see, guys, these stories are awesome. These stories really have mysteries and symbolisms and ideas that really speak to our hearts. Thank you, Kylie, for giving me your thoughts and sharing with me and everybody else. Um, so the stories are so powerful. So like I said, if you want to have your own story from me, and you want to be empowered, encouraged, and enlightened about your identity, your destiny, or something wonderful, go to legendsofthewind.com, go to our store, and sign up for a free store. We so far have five openings for this. And if you want to, again, purchase our book, you can find it on Amazon. And thanks, guys, for everyone else who has already purchased. I have one more question. Yes. Um, who are the people who are riding on the horses? Three, Maddie, four. Katie, and Hannah. Do you want me to talk about those kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when I first started doing all these stories, I was working with some elementary kids and helping them with a teacher named Linda LaRue. And this was in Northridge, California. And these kids weren't being read to. And I found out that uh, I wanted to tell them stories. 
And so I got to uh, talking to Linda. I said, well, what if we have the kids in, their, in the classroom be in their own adventure, in their own story, and help them to discover things? And so those basically unfolded Legends of the Wind. And um, thanks, uh, Yeti, for great answers for Kylie. Cool. Thank you. And by the way, Christina, thank you very much. Um, it's good to see you as well. Um, so with, with the kids... Uh, Linda and I, we would work on a weekly basis, kind of like this show. Which, uh, so we had a story every other week, and the kids loved it, and adults loved it too. And we ended up exploring the stories, just like Kylie and I did tonight. And when I found out what it's called thinking mythically. How does your life work like a story? Who are you? Where are you going with your life? And how does storytelling help you discover those things? And so we were doing this with the kids. And after six months of working with the kids, there was a shift. It was awesome because all of a sudden, Linda and I never had to, no longer needed to prompt the kids. They on their own were thinking mythically and learning to think symbolically and unpacked all the stories. And it was amazing. It was one night I'll never forget. So Kylie has that ability too. She's wonderful at thinking this way. And I love that. So, um, you know, thank you, Kylie. Mm -hmm. Good show. Do you have any questions for me? Any, anything else? Well, I w this is a guess, but does, is a lady a woman like God? I think she would be like a, a helper. Kind of like you said, an angel or something. Mm -hmm. You know, it could be a wonderful being that helps us. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a story. It's magical. It's fantastic. It has deeper meanings than we really know. It's all good. But that's a good question. Mm -hmm. It's a good question. And do you know where the horses went with falling off well, the horse? Well, I think they went on great adventures. I mean, if you're going to ride a flying horse, wouldn't you want to take it all sorts of cool places? Mm -hmm. Yeah, where would you want to go with a flying horse? Uh, I don't know, but <laughs> but maybe you should add a season two and see if you can get know where they went. Oh, a sequel? Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good idea. What do you think about that? Cool. Well, um, thanks, uh, Mom, for chiming in as well. <laughs> don't forget your dad. I did. I already said it. It's Yeti. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so uh, remember, uh, you can find us every week here on Facebook and also on YouTube and Monday nights at 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you again soon. Thanks, guys, for everybody uh, chiming in. Uh, everyone who's commented, thank you so much. This is one of our more successful shows. We've got three thumbs up and 46 hearts. Uh, I am really encouraged. That's so good. Thank you very much, my audience. Uh, we love you guys, and um, yeah, and if you want to email us, you can find us at support at legendsofthewind.com. Please remember to subscribe to this channel, hit the bell button, hit like, and, and we'll see you again on the next show. So, Kylie, say Bye. goodbye. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.